Michael, he's a、um, perfectionist. He's、um, he wants the best. How often did you talk to Michael? We we spoke to him not that much during rehearsal, but we we last saw him May fourteenth. Do you know how long he'd been given propofol? Well, see, with this is it. There was a lot of footage that was taken out that no one saw. What if everything we thought we knew about Michael Jackson's voice was a carefully crafted illusion? For decades, his voice became his trademark, defining pop music, setting trends, and inspiring generations. But what if that very voice, the soft, whispery falsetto that fans around the world came to know and love, wasn't exactly what it seemed? Recently, Jermaine Jackson, Michael's older brother and one of his closest confidants, released a recording that claims to expose Michael's unaltered, natural voice. At 69, Jermaine has chosen to reveal something that many fans might find unimaginable—a side of Michael Jackson that could upend how we view one of the world's most enigmatic figures. This recording, if genuine, could be one of the most revealing glimpses into Michael's true self that we've ever heard, stripping away the layers of mystery he meticulously built over decades. Imagine hearing Michael as he really was behind closed doors, with no studio magic, no calculated charm, no persona. This isn't the Michael of Thriller or Billie Jean. It's a Michael that most of us never even thought existed. And the story behind why he may have masked his true voice raises new questions. Was it a matter of artistic choice, a desire for privacy, or even a deep-seated fear of letting the world too close? As Jermaine steps forward with this revelation, it's almost as if he's lifting the curtain on one of the most guarded secrets in pop culture history. Why would he choose to reveal this now? What does he stand to gain or lose by exposing such a closely held truth? And most importantly, what could this mean for the legacy of a man who spent a lifetime crafting an image that was perhaps more performance than reality? Today, we're diving into the shockwaves of this revelation, piecing together the mysteries surrounding Michael's voice and the secrets Jermaine. Jermaine has finally decided to share. This story might just change the way we think about the King of Pop forever. Michael Jackson's voice was one of a kind, from his early days in the Jackson Five, with that youthful, crystal clear pitch, to his iconic adult career. His voice became instantly recognizable, evolving into an instrument all its own. Whether he was hitting high notes in Thriller or conveying raw emotion in Earth Song, his voice captivated millions, and over time became as much a part of his identity as his moonwalk and signature glow. But Michael's voice was more than just an artistic tool. It was a part of his mystique. Fans and critics alike marveled at its unique, almost ethereal quality. It was gentle yet powerful, a blend of softness and strength that pulled listeners in and kept them spellbound. For decades, no one questioned that this voice, with all its quirks and idiosyncrasies, was an authentic expression of who Michael was. Yet here's where the intrigue begins. The audio Jermaine has now released suggests that Michael may have gone to incredible lengths. To control not just how he looked, but how he sounded. Imagine finding out that the voice the world adored might have been carefully crafted. That the real Michael Jackson sounded very different from the voice that millions knew and loved. Why would he do that? What was he trying to protect, or perhaps even hide? For years, fans speculated on whether Michael had purposely altered his voice, with some claiming that his public speaking voice was just as carefully designed as his music. But until now, it's all been just speculation. Until Jermaine. Revelation, which could finally shed light on what's fact and what's fiction. In the next part, we'll dive into the details of this mysterious recording and explore what Jermaine Jackson shared with the world. Audio that just might reveal the real Michael Jackson, the voice behind the mask, the leaked audio what Jermaine shared. Now let's talk about the audio clip itself. The one Jermaine Jackson claims is Michael's true, unaltered voice. The clip, which surfaced unexpectedly, is unlike anything we've heard before. It's raw, almost haunting. A complete departure from the familiar, high-pitched, breathy tone that Michael was known for. In this recording, his voice sounds deeper, more grounded, even vulnerable—a stark contrast to the carefully maintained image that defined his career. Jermaine's decision to release this audio shocked fans and music experts alike. While the public has always been divided on whether Michael's voice was authentic or a performance, hearing this alleged real voice added fuel to the fire of speculation. Could it really be Michael? And if so, Why did he keep this part of himself hidden, even from his most devoted fans? What's perhaps most striking?
intriguing is the timing of Jermaine's revelation. Why now, so many years after Michael's passing? Some speculate that Jermaine is finally ready to let the world in on family secrets that have stayed buried for decades, while others wonder if he has his own reasons, his own story to tell, one that includes a side of Michael the world never saw. Fans around the world are buzzing with questions. Is this audio really Michael's? Was the voice we heard on stage and in interviews and act a deliberate choice to shape his identity? Or is this recording a misunderstood or even misrepresented piece of the Jackson family puzzle? Whatever the truth, Jermaine's leak has changed the narrative around Michael's legacy, leaving fans eager to find out more. In the next section, we'll dive deeper into the rumors surrounding Michael's voice, whether he really changed it on purpose, and if so, why he might have felt the need to reinvent such a personal part of himself. Did he really change his voice? For as long as he was in the spotlight, Michael Jackson's voice was both a signature and an enigma. His unique airy tone, almost a whisper at times, became an essential part of his identity, one that set him apart from anyone else in the music industry. But was this iconic voice with its breathy softness and delicate quality really the natural sound of the man behind the music? Over the years, fans, journalists, and even those close to him have speculated that Michael may have carefully crafted this voice, changing the way he spoke to fit a persona he wanted the world to see. Hints of this hidden truth surfaced occasionally. During rare, candid moments, Michael's voice was caught on tape sounding noticeably different, deeper, firmer, and perhaps more reflective of his true age and character. In those unguarded moments, it seemed that the soft-spoken tone we all knew might have been just a mask. Some fans even claimed to have heard it themselves in certain interviews, noticing a subtle shift in his tone when he was caught off guard or when he thought no one was watching too closely. It left many wondering, was this all part of a grand design, an elaborate effort to construct a softer, more approachable image? Theories about why he would do this abound. Some speculate that Michael intentionally softened his voice to maintain a certain innocence, one that he felt connected with his fans and protected him from the harsher realities of adulthood and fame. His voice added to his mystique, making him seem vulnerable, even ethereal, in a way that amplified his appeal. Fans felt close to him, sensing a gentleness in his voice that seemed to invite them into his world. But could it have been a conscious decision to reinforce that sense of trust, to seem like the gentle compassionate person his fans believed he was. Others believe that the real Michael might have felt safer behind a persona, hiding aspects of his true self from the invasive media and relentless scrutiny that followed him. By keeping his true voice concealed, he might have been holding on to a part of himself that no one else could claim, a fragment of his identity that remained untouched and private. The high-pitched, soft-spoken voice became a part of his public armor, an essential layer of the complex persona he shared with the world. Jermaine's audio Leak now forces us to reconsider this carefully crafted image, pushing fans to ask, was Michael protecting his real self from the outside world, or was he creating an idealized version of himself, one that he could control? And if he felt compelled to hide even his natural voice, what does that tell us about the pressures he faced and the identity he presented to the world? This revelation from Jermaine Jackson complicates our understanding of Michael as both an artist and a human being. As we listen to what's being presented as his real voice, we're left with a different picture of Michael Jackson, a man potentially far more private and complex than we ever knew, and perhaps more deeply affected by fame than he ever let on. This new perspective challenges everything we thought we understood about the King of Pop, suggesting that there may have been a deeper struggle, one that played out silently beneath the surface in his personal battle between fame and privacy. Next, we'll explore how Michael's entire public persona, his looks, his mannerisms, and yes, even his voice, were part of an intricate image that he cultivated and how this leaked audio might forever alter the legacy of a man who spent his life carefully controlling the narrative around himself. The role of image and mystery in Michael's career. Michael Jackson didn't just make music, he crafted an entire world around himself, one that was as fascinating as it was mysterious. Every part of his public image was meticulously designed, from his singular fashion choices to his iconic dance moves and even the way he spoke. Over the years, it became clear that Michael wasn't just an entertainer. He was a master of creating a brand so compelling it kept fans guessing at who he truly was. He was larger than life, a character woven from equal parts talent and mystique. His appearance, for example, evolved drastically over the years. Fans and critics alike noticed the changes in his skin tone, facial features, and style, fueling endless debates and speculations. But beyond the physical transformations, there was something deeper at play, a sense that Michael was deliberately controlling the narrative around himself. 
He constructed an image that was untouchable, enigmatic, and in many ways, almost otherworldly. By keeping his personal life hidden, by crafting a voice that sounded innocent and ethereal, he made himself into a symbol as much as a man. He wasn't just Michael Jackson, he was the king of pop, an icon that people revered, even if they didn't fully understand him. This new audio leak challenges that carefully built mystery. If Jermaine's claims are true, and this recording really is Michael's natural voice, it shows us a side of Michael that feels more real, more grounded, perhaps even more vulnerable than the polished image we knew. It pulls back the curtain, revealing a man who might have felt the need to shield his authentic self from the world. But why would he do that? For someone so beloved, what could have driven him to keep such a fundamental part of himself hidden? The answer may lie in the nature of fame itself. As someone who had lived in the spotlight since childhood, Michael's life was an endless cycle of media attention, public scrutiny, and fan adoration. From the early days of the Jackson 5 to his solo career, he faced relentless pressures to maintain a perfect image, an image that was marketable and carefully controlled, in a world where every aspect of his life was exposed and analyzed. Keeping his true voice hidden may have been a way for Michael to retain a sense of privacy, a part of his identity that was his alone. Or perhaps he felt that the world preferred the Michael Jackson he presented, the mysterious figure with the soft, almost whispery voice that suited his gentle public persona. If fans saw him as an ethereal, almost childlike figure, then maybe he could feel protected in that role, distancing himself from the harsher realities of adulthood and the darker aspects of fame. This voice, this character, allowed him to step into a version of himself that felt safe and beloved, even if it wasn't entirely real. Now with Jermaine's revelation, fans are forced to confront the idea that Michael's life was not as transparent as it may have seemed. His persona, one that was carefully and methodically crafted over decades, might have been in part an illusion, a way to keep the world at arm's length while preserving a piece of himself that no one else could touch. As we delve into fans' reactions in the next section, it's clear that this revelation has left the world both shocked and curious. Could this newfound glimpse of the real Michael Jackson change everything? Everything we thought we knew about his legacy? Fans' reaction, shock, and speculation. As news of the leaked audio spread, fans around the world found themselves grappling with a new reality. The voice in the recording, deeper, steadier, and vastly different from the familiar tones of Michael's public persona, was a revelation that left many shocked, intrigued, and in some cases, even disillusioned. Social media quickly lit up with comments and theories, as fans shared their initial reactions to what could be one of the most personal revelations about the King of Pop. For some fans, this new side of Michael felt like a betrayal of the image they had cherished for years. One fan wrote, It's like finding out a part of him was a lie. The Michael we knew, the gentle and childlike voice, it felt so real. But now, I'm not sure what to believe. This sentiment echoed across platforms as fans wrestled with the idea that Michael's voice, one of the most iconic in pop culture, might have been more carefully crafted than they'd ever imagined. Others, however, saw the revelation in a different light. For these fans, Fans, the deeper, more grounded voice captured in the recording only added to Michael's mystique. They saw it as another layer in the complex persona he built throughout his career. It just shows how brilliantly Michael controlled his image. One fan commented, He gave us what he wanted us to see, and he kept the rest for himself. In a way, it makes him even more fascinating. This perspective views Michael as a master of reinvention, someone who was willing to keep parts of himself hidden, not out of deception, but as a means of self-protection in a world that constantly demanded access to every corner of his life. As discussions continued, some fans began speculating about Jermaine's motives. Was this audio leak an act of love, a way to share a more authentic version of Michael with the world? Or was there something else at play, perhaps a hidden agenda that only Jermaine truly understands? Fans debated these possibilities, with some believing that Jermaine wanted to reveal a deeper truth about his brother, while others wondered if this was a calculated move to shift the narrative and draw attention to the Jackson family once again. But what remains undeniable is the impact this revelation has had on Michael's legacy. Fans who grew up idolizing his music, his voice, and his image are now left with questions that may never be fully answered. Was the Michael they knew the real Michael, or was he a version of himself crafted for the stage and the spotlight? And if there were so many hidden layers to his public persona, what else about him did the world never truly see? As we move forward to explore Jermaine's possible motivations in the next section, it's clear that this revelation 
revelation has sparked a wave of curiosity and a desire to understand the truth behind one of the most iconic and mysterious figures of our time. Why leak it now? The timing of Jermaine Jackson's revelation has left fans and industry insiders wondering, why now? At 69, Jermaine has been part of Michael's legacy for decades, playing a unique role as both brother and bandmate. He was there during Michael's early days, watched him become a global icon, and witnessed firsthand the pressures that came with being the king of pop. But after so many years, what could have compelled Jermaine to release something so personal, so potentially transformative about his brother? Some believe that Jermaine's actions are motivated by a desire to set the record straight, a way to share a more truthful, unfiltered version of Michael with the world. After years of watching Michael's legacy evolve, Jermaine might feel that now, more than ever, people deserve to know the real Michael. Beyond the polished image he projected, he's not just showing fans the voice Michael kept hidden. He may be offering them a glimpse into the private struggles and vulnerabilities that Michael himself shielded from the public eye. Yet others suspect that there could be deeper, more complex reasons for Jermaine's decision. Family dynamics within the Jacksons have always been complicated, with long-standing tensions, rivalries, and differences that often played out behind closed doors. For some, this leak feels like a calculated move, a way for Jermaine to reclaim his own place in the narrative of Michael's legacy. After all, he too was a pivotal figure in the Jackson family's rise to fame, but his role was often overshadowed by Michael's overwhelming success. By sharing this audio, Jermaine could be reasserting his voice and reminding the world of his unique perspective on his brother's life. Financial motivations are also a point of speculation. As the Jackson family estate continues to be a subject of media attention and legal battles, some wonder if this leak could be tied to broader financial interests. Releasing new, never-before-heard material related to Michael could stir public interest, potentially benefiting Jermaine in ways that go beyond just sharing a piece of his brother's story. This interpretation raises questions about how much of this revelation is about truth, and how much may be influenced by other, less visible factors. Then there's the possibility that Jermaine's decision comes from a place of unresolved emotion. Losing Michael had a profound impact on the entire Jackson family, and perhaps Jermaine feels that by revealing this piece of Michael's life, he's honoring his brother in a way that few could understand. Perhaps for Jermaine, this recording is not just an audio clip, but a memory, a testament to the brother he knew better than anyone else. As fans process this unexpected insight into Michael's life, they're left with a sense of unease, knowing that even after his passing, the complexities of Michael Jackson's life continue to unravel. This revelation from Jermaine doesn't just deepen the mystery surrounding Michael's true self, it also sheds light on the intricate web of family dynamics, emotions, and motivations that shaped his legacy. In the conclusion, we'll reflect on the questions left unanswered and the impact this revelation may have on Michael's legacy as both a pop icon and a deeply private individual whose life remains full of secrets. Even now, the voice that captured hearts around the world, the persona that transcended borders. Michael Jackson was not just an artist, but an enigma, a carefully layered figure whose life was a mix of public spectacle and hidden truths. For years, fans believed they knew him through his music, his movements, his unmistakable voice. Yet as Jermaine's revelation now suggests, there was a side of Michael that remained completely out of reach, even from those who felt closest to him. This newly leaked audio, if truly authentic, served as a window into a more grounded, even vulnerable version of Michael, one that might have more in common with the private individual than the public performer. Listening to this deeper, unpolished voice challenges our perceptions. It's as if we're hearing from someone entirely different, a man who perhaps felt the weight of his fame more intensely than anyone realized. In maintaining his public voice, the high, soft-spoken tone we all recognize, Michael may have been drawing a clear line between his public image and his private self. But why? Did he intentionally mask his true voice to fit a persona the world would embrace? One that felt safe and familiar to fans? Or was this voice a refuge? A part of his identity he could shield from the endless scrutiny that came with being a global superstar? The questions left in the wake of Jermaine's disclosure go deeper than a simple curiosity about Michael's vocal choices. They speak to the essence of his character and the profound complexities of living under the microscope of fame. For decades, Michael was the focal point of adoration 
admiration, criticism, and endless fascination. In such an intense spotlight, it's possible that he felt he had to maintain a constant shield, a layer of control over even the most personal aspects of himself. This voice, one of his most defining traits, may have been part of a carefully constructed boundary that allowed him to protect his true self. This revelation also forces us to confront the intricacies of family ties within the Jacksons. Jermaine's decision to release such intimate material raises as many questions about his own motives as it does about Michael's. Is Jermaine seeking to reveal a more authentic version of his brother to the world, or is he, too, navigating his own legacy within the family's complex dynamic? Perhaps in this act, Jermaine is reflecting on his relationship with Michael, attempting to preserve and honor it in a way that only he can understand. Yet there's no denying that this choice has altered the way fans and the public view Michael's legacy, adding a layer of complexity to the story of a man who has always been a mystery. And as fans, we're left wondering if we will ever truly know the man behind the mask. Even after his passing, Michael Jackson remains an elusive figure, someone who, despite all his fame, retained an air of mystery that's only grown with time. This audio leak serves as both a revelation and a reminder. Michael Jackson was a deeply private individual in a public life, one who maintained control over how much of himself he showed, even as he shared so much with the world. For every song, dance move, and interview, there were parts of him that remained out of reach, hidden beneath layers of artistry and intention. Perhaps that's the lasting legacy Michael leaves behind. The idea that some mysteries remain unsolved, that the real person behind a public persona can never be fully known, even by those who idolize them. In life, Michael was constantly reinventing himself, moving through different stages and personas, each more intriguing than the last. In death, his legacy continues to evolve, with new revelations like this audio leak forcing us to re-examine what we thought we knew. Maybe that's what makes Michael Jackson so timelessly fascinating. His ability to leave us questioning, to keep us on the edge of discovery even years after his passing. His music, his art, his enigmatic personality, they all hint at someone who was both deeply relatable and impossibly distant. Jermaine's revelation may have peeled back a layer, but it's also reinforced the complexity of Michael's story. In the end, perhaps that's what makes legends. The secrets, the contradictions, the feeling that there's always more just beneath the surface. And so, as we reflect on this latest twist in Michael's legacy, we're reminded that some stories aren't meant to be fully unraveled. Some mysteries remain, lingering, adding to the allure of a figure who gave the world so much yet kept something essential for himself. Michael Jackson, in life and in death, remains a mystery that continues to captivate. A story that, even with new revelations, leaves us wanting to know more.